Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Enzyme. This is the seventh video of the series Graph Algorithm for Competitive Programming. And in this video, we are going to discuss the problem detecting cycles in directed graphs. Now, when I first saw this problem, I was always confused why normal DFS doesn't work for directed graphs. Like, why can't it detect cycles using normal DFS for simple directed graphs? So, let's see a counter example why this, this will fail, uh, why you can't solve this problem using a normal DFS. So, let's say we have a graph. Uh, let's consider only four nodes. So let's say we have something like this. And just to not have a cycle, let's say we have something like this. And this is the starting node. So just as a counter example, you will you are first here. So let's say you go this way first and you mark this as visited. Now you can't go anywhere. Now you return back. So you went here, now you, re you return back. And now you go this way. Okay, this was visited. Now you go this way. Now this is also visited and this is also visited. Now when you go uh, to this node again, you see that this node was already already visited and uh, but using this you will say that okay, the, a cycle was detected, right? But uh, that is not the case here. Uh, there is no cycle in this graph. So how do we counter this problem? So what is happening here? Let me just uh, uh, name these nodes. So let's say this is node 1, 2, three and four okay now if i am doing a normal dfs let's say i am at one i go to four then i go to two uh, three and then uh, again at four right so basically we find a cycle only when there is a package and how do we detect baggage so whenever we are traversing we need to keep we need to check if the next element is in the current stack like uh, when we are doing it for this uh, this graph okay, let me just, let me just erase everything so when we are doing it for this graph currently uh, one was there then four was there after that four was removed then two three was there and then the next element was four but this 4 was not in the current stack when, when we were traversing. Let's say we had something, another, uh, let's say we had another case. So this way edge was opposite. So if you had something like this, like this edge was like this, then I'm starting from 1, I go to 2, okay, then 3, then 4. And then when I go to the next element, I see that it is already in my current stack. So at every uh, so at every time, we have to check if the next index is in the current stack. So we do not want to check if it is visited. We want to check if it is in the current stack. And if it is there, then this is a package. And the package implies that we have a cycle in the graph, basically. Now let's solve a problem uh, related to this concept. So the problem name is round trip 2 and this is from the CACS problem set. So let's read the problem statement. Byteland has n cities and m flight connections. Your task is to design a round trip that begins in a city and goes through one or more cities and finally returns to the starting city. Every intermediate city on the route has to be distinct and we want to print any of the cycle in this graph. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. So I will create a new file and let's use my template and I will remove the unnecessary comments. Okay, so first we have two integers n and m. Then let's make a graph. And for i in range m, u and v. Okay. And uh, now graph of u dot pushback v. And this is a directed graph. Uh, sorry for the background noise. Let's make a DFS function. And since, uh, like, when we are doing a DFS, we are basically creating a Minimum spanning tree, right? So let's have two parameters, a uh, node and a parent. Okay. 
and i need to maintain like what elements are in the current stack and, and what elements are not in the current stack so for that i will create two arrays uh, one will be the visited array uh, so visited of n plus 1 and initially it will be all the elements will be false so bool and one will be the in stack array so i'll mark my elements if they are in the stack or not so initially everything will be false and uh, since we want to print the cycle i also need to keep a check like what was my previous elements so let's say previous of n plus 1 elements okay now okay let's say i'm on a, on a current node so i can say if uh, visited of node equals to if visited or not let's return the function i don't want to do anything and if uh, let's set the previous of node equals to parent okay and if this node is in my current stack then we have detected a cycle otherwise what i will do is uh, first i will put this current node in the stack so i can say in stack of node equals to true now for int uh, child in graph of node uh, we have to do a dfs of child comma node now i can say in stack of node equals to false and then i can say uh, visited of node equals to true okay. so we have this and uh, now if the cycle is detected now if the cycle is detected i i need to print this cycle right so first i can say okay let's say the answer is in a vector and uh, let's say answer dot push back node node is equals to previous of node and while uh, node not equals to what answer of zero so the first element of the answer i can just simply push this in, in the uh, push the node in my answer and then i need to do it again push back node and uh, let's reverse the answer because it will be in the reverse order so reverse answer dot begin comma answer dot end after this i can say C then for int x in answer c out x with a space then c out end and after this once i have printed a cycle then i need to exit the code okay okay so once this is done uh, once this is done i can say for i in range 1 to n if uh, not uh, visited of uh, I, I think i can just remove this because if it was visited then the function will just return so i can say simply dfs of i comma minus one and if, and if the code is still running then i need to print impossible and let's run this and see if it is working so we are getting 4 3 2 1 uh, i think this is correct now let's try to submit this and see if, if it gets accepted or not so submit and let's choose the file round trip 2 and submit okay so our solution got accepted and if you were able to understand this concept and solve this problem kindly like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have any other doubt you can comment down in uh, this video and if you want me to discuss a particular problem you can also comment down so kindly subscribe and i will see you guys next time thank you